Welcome to the Penn Admissions video series. At Penn, we practice a comprehensive whole person review by examining four key components. Academics, activities, essays, and interviews. And in this part of the series, we're going to take a closer look into all things related to activities and break down the parts of the application that help to answer the question, what do you do outside of class? Also, throughout this video, we will be giving you tips and takeaways about applying to Penn or to any other school that employs a similar whole person review process. So let's get started. Hey, hey you, you like to do things outside the classroom every once in a while, right? You like to get out, stretch your legs and your mind and not think about tomorrow's course load or tonight's homework, right? Of course you do. Well. The reason why colleges ask you to share what you do when you're not in class is that these activities give additional insight into who you are as a whole person, not just as a student. For starters, there are two main types of activities, things that you choose to do and other responsibilities. The kind of activities you've chosen to do give an admissions committee a glimpse into what you enjoy, or at least they should. Do you read poetry at open mic nights in your free time? Do you make sets for a theater company? Or maybe run a really fast mile? Sharing what you choose to do in your free time showcases aspects of your personality and specific skills or talents that you may have. It also tells us how and what you may contribute to our community. We also want to know about your other responsibilities, which can be just as important. Some examples of this could include working at a part-time job, caring for a family member on a daily basis, or having a long commute to school. Okay, so now we want to share a few tips about completing the activities section of the application. The first and most important tips we have, relax, be yourself, really. What was that you said, Ben? What you seem to be, be really? Exactly. We're not looking for a predetermined list of activities. Some people love music, others debate, or sports. But if you have a choice, please do those things you enjoy and help you grow as a person. Don't do things because others are doing them, or it won't ring true when admissions committees are looking at your entire application. Next, be explicit. <clears throat> what I meant was, don't assume we know what your activities actually entail, because even if they seem self-explanatory, they can vary from school to school. Tell us the amount of time you spend in each activity. This helps us understand the depth of your involvement and impact and include specific responsibilities for each activity. Did you hold a leadership position? What kind of contributions did you make with the positions that you held? For example, look at what band means in these two versions. You could simply tell us you play clarinet, or you could inform us you were the drum major of the marching band responsible for an 80 plus member band and played clarinet for all four years of high school. And also, don't forget to take time to spell out acronyms so that someone who doesn't go to your school can understand what you mean. Okay, so in summary, being concise, but including some detail about your activities will help us better understand how you're spending time outside of class. And how you spend your time outside of the classroom is part of your personal story. We care about your personal story because at its heart, the admissions process is all about building a community. And that's why we ask you about activities. 